This conference has been arranged here in Brussels as an excellent opportunity for researchers, investors, biotech executives and entrepreneurs from around the world to be able to meet and uh, network and uh, create new scientific collaborations. This uh, bioannual conference was uh, organized for the first time back in 2012, six years ago, and it has uh, continued to grow since. So we are very happy to see this time that we have over 80 people, many who are very active in the field of aiding research, who will participate in this year's conference. And this is organized by HEALS, Healthy Life Extension Society. Now in 2018, 90% of the population in the more industrialized parts of the world die from age-related diseases. And as you can see, uh, there is a big demographic change. And apart from the enormous suffering and death, the world is facing lots of uh, economic challenges as well. It is called the silver tsunami. However, following major advances in uh, science and uh, biomedicine in recent years, we are now on the edge of uh, being able to start treating aging itself instead of just treating the resulting diseases. And this is a long-term working solution to improve healthy lifespan. And as you can see in this slide, aging research is becoming a popular topic. It is quite a lot of growth between 1988 here and 2018 in the past 30 years. If you look for example, at cellular senescence, which is one part of aging that has uh, developed a lot during the past few years. And this quickly growing trend has resulted in the growth of an emerging industry that is focused on treating aging itself. For example, all the types of biomolecular damages that exist in the old, but not in the young. We have several leading experts here in this area today who will uh, uh, talk about uh, cellular senescence, for example, uh, Dr. Thomas von Sklenicki, who has been in this field for a, a very long time. And over the last years, we have also seen the launch of multiple biotech companies that are focused on longevity and trying to target the different aspects of aging damage. The hallmarks of aging. Examples include Unity in silico medicine, Clara, Calico, and human longevity, and uh, also new investments funds have started, such as Forever Healthy and the Juvenescence, that are focused on rejuvenation biotechnologies. And we will have a panel later discussing this emerging biotech market. But one of the most uh, interesting questions here is, how will we prove efficacy of uh, geroprotective uh, therapies? How can we actually be able to validate an uh, intervention in the aging process? How will a pipeline of translating fundamental research regarding the basic science of rejuvenation and the make a clinical applications out of it? How will such a path look like? And to on start answering this question, a retreat was organized back in 2015 under the National Institute of Health, R24 Geroscience Network, that also culminated in a publication in the Journal of Gerontology biological sciences, and in this paper, the authors generated concepts and the frameworks for early proof of concept uh, clinical trials for therapeutic uh, interventions that target fundamental processes of aging. And back three years ago, the FDA granted permission for the targeting aging with metformin, or TAME trial. In this double-blind placebo-controlled trial, researchers will put approximately 3,000 uh, older people for five to seven years on uh, metformin to see if it impacts any risk for age-related disease. And at the end of this trial, they will compare mortality uh, among the treated elderly with the people uh, of the same age who have not been uh, treated and see uh, is there any difference between those two groups. And now to be clear, Metformin is not the cure for aging, but it's reflective of the paradigm shift that has been going on for the past years. And we are very much looking forward to this trial and see the results of it. Now I would like to make some practical notes also. I would like to ask our speakers first to, to upload the uh, PowerPoint in the pause, those the ones who have not yet given it. 
And tomorrow we start at 9.30, but the doors open already at 9, so you should try to be here in time. And also before lunch, tomorrow, just before lunch, there will be a photograph taken. So please be sure to be here. And on the Twitter, you can use, use the hashtag uh, EHA 2018. And for lunch also, uh, sandwiches will be served. And you have the Wi-Fi password, so you should write it down. And also, please remember to be back on time to respect the people that are speaking in the afternoon. And uh, there are many restaurants, of course, very close by. We are only a couple of hundred meters from uh, Grand Place, which is the city center here in Brussels. And, but uh, coffee and tea and light refreshments will be served during the, the pauses. And smoking is uh, not allowed. And uh, please uh, try to turn off the sound of your cell phones. The day shares will be Sven Bultreis. And then we on day two, we will have Vincent Fago. And then on day three, we will have Alexander Tietz Latza. And at the end of the day, uh, after the lectures, we, there is an informal meeting where all the speakers and uh, everyone attending can uh, come and have a drink. And this informal meeting will be uh, on the first floor above the pub La Mortsubit, which is just close to here, very close. And this conference is organized by HEALS, and I would like to thank our sponsors, Elsevier, Mechanisms of Aging and Development, Longevity, and Eels, Heels, and Leaf, sorry, uh, for the contribution, without which this conference would not have been possible. I also want to thank all volunteers who have been helping out with this event. And of course, also my deepest uh, gratitude to our speakers for accepting our invitation to this symposium. And there will also be a poster session on the second floor above here. Uh, there is a big conference room, and there you will be able to go and look at the posters. And I also know some people here in this audience who don't like being filmed uh, or photographed. And uh, the people who don't want their lectures filmed, they should uh, talk to Sven. But uh, the people who don't want to risk appearing in their photos, they should talk to, to Nina here. Who so I'm looking forward to three extremely interesting days. So now I will give the word to our first speaker, Sven Bultreis from the University of Ghent. So thank you very much.